Okay, today's uh, Sunday, November 13th. Just wanted to, to uh, talk about this degassing chamber I set up. Um, previously, I had set up this mineralization tank over here. That's what this blue barrel is. And the way this works is the, the big pipe that you see coming from the concrete fish tank over there carries the fish water over to this blue barrel and you can't see it uh, but the um, that that pipe goes all the way to the bottom of the barrel and at the bottom of the barrel it just ends there and discharges the fish tank water into the barrel so the water has to travel all the way back up the barrel <coughs> up the barrel before it finally gets to this little drain pipe over here and in so doing uh, this netting that's in there, that's just saran netting, that'll capture all of the uh, particles, well not all of them, but a lot of the particles that are in the water, and those will create a growing surface for anaerobic bacteria. And what the anaerobic bacteria will do is uh, denitrify nitrate and turn part of it into nitrogen gas. Um, I'm not sure if other gases are also produced in the process, but Anyway, the point of that is to lower uh, the nitrate levels in the water for when you want uh, fruit to set. So after that, the water comes out of this side of pipe here, and then it goes into this, this little degassing chamber. And the reason it's called a degassing chamber is simply because what you're trying to do is get, get the gas that was produced by the anaerobic bacteria over here out of the water. And so the way that's done is that you just basically aerate uh, the water as much as you can. I only have one air stick in there because that's all I have right now. I I, I think I want to add another, at least one more, probably three more, just to make sure that uh, everything's being aerated properly. And then after that, the water just goes down those standpipes that you see there, and then it discharges into my sump. Um, <clears throat> this from the sump, uh, the, the water pump that's down there then uh, circulates the water into the system where the grow beds are and those all discharge back into the sump as well. There's one draining right now that's from uh, one of the gravel grow beds. So the pump uh, sends the water to the grow beds and it also sends part of the water back into the fish tank right there. So it's like a, it's like a figure eight kind of a uh, circulation loop. So anyway, that's the main thing I wanted to show today was this, this little degassing chamber. I'm not sure uh, how well this is all working yet because the mineralization tank, uh, that's been going a couple of weeks now and I'm not, I'm not really sure if it's lowered nitrate levels or not because I had a, another a parallel problem to all this was I had a couple of fish die and I don't know what I don't know what the cause of it was so I I did about a 80 percent water change a couple of days ago so obviously that lowered the nitrate level so I can't say that that the nitrate levels have come down because of the mineralization system um, I'll have to wait some more to, to find out if uh, if that's working or not I'm sure it will it's just uh, it's just a matter of time um, in the meantime, uh, not much to report with the plants. Uh, still not getting fruit set, uh, at least not a lot of it. I did pick off one cucumber, but um, I'm not getting any, any major fruit setting action yet, but we'll see. And the uh, floating raft beds don't have anything planted in them. Well, almost anything. I have a few lettuces over here, but uh, these are all looking kind of bad right now. I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, that's about it. Uh, Till next week, thanks for tuning in.